Hello friends, in this demonstration I am going to show you how to tackle a situation when the embankments of service layer and main carriageway overlap. To demonstrate this, I have taken an example here. I will move on to the next cross section. You will see here that automatically we have trimmed the overlap. There are various ways to handle it. This is one way of handling it. Now you will see, I have moved still further close. And here, if you see, not only the embankment has been trimmed, but also the subgrade, also the shoulder and all the layers on both the sides are trimmed. So this is the result that you are going to get. Before showing you how to do it, I have intentionally shown you what I wish to demonstrate. So this is what I will be demonstrating in this example. Hope you have understood the requirement. Now, I will delete whatever I have done. I go to build definition. Now, this is the situation you are having. The main carriageway overlaps with the service road. If I go to other cross sections, you will see this is acceptable to you. Now, I will show you step by step what I plan to do. First of all, I will find out a point which is the intersection of these two lines. One coming from here, another coming from here. So I want to find out an intersection point. Whenever you have two reference points and two slopes, you will use the intersection method in point line. But here you have main carriageway as a separate type and service road as a separate type. So the first thing I will do is transfer this point in this type. I go to cross X, build definition. Please note, I have got LHS, RHS as the two main carriageway and I have got service road right and service road left as another set of type. Now I have chosen service road right. I will add point group. I say add over here and here I will choose miscellaneous point from other type. I double click here from the RHS shoulder right. The outer top I say save. So what has happened over here? This point is available to this type also. Now I will create a point using intersection. I will say the name is intersection of carriageway on the right. I can give any name as per my wish. The first point I am using is shoulder right outer top which I have imported from other type. Slope is minus 0 0.5 that is my side slope. The second point is my service road inner shoulder top. So the second point here is this. This is the inner shoulder service road right inner top. The slope I will give is 0 0.5. Multiplying factor I will keep 1 and 1 and I say save. Now you will see a point is created over here. This point is the intersection of this line and the intersection of this line. So the second thing we have done is created the second point. Now before I proceed, I will create a parameter called as intersection RHS. Please note this is not a point, this is a variable. I say save. Now I will make it a variable. You will see there are no values over here. Please note, I have imported this point, then using this as the second reference point, I have created the point over here. I am going to extract the x value of this point in a variable. For that, I go into data edit, I create a new group, and in this, I say xy, name I can give anything, point name is the newly created point, this one, 
and please note i am going to extract the x value multiplying factor is 1 the return value is my new variable intersection rhs so please see what we are doing here we are extracting the value of this point that is the point that we created over here and the value will be collected in this variable i say save now you will see for section 0 10 and 20 i have processed three cross sections you will see in parameters i am having the value of intersection point here i am going to use this for trim now i go to build definition again i add a group for level edit i say add and i will say trim by h side is suppose right level to trim is embankment right x value is intersection rhs delete point i say yes i say say now you will see here your embankment has been trimmed now i am trimming the service road embankment right but please note the side to trim is left means i have to trim the left side i say save now you will see both the layers are trimmed similarly i will trim the other layers also after embankment right i will trim the subgrade for that i will just take a section where i get a good overlap now you will see here only the embankment layers have been trimmed i again go to build definition I will zoom in here. Now suppose I want to trim the subgrade. I use the same logic. I will say trim by H. Side to trim is right. Trim level is subgrade right. And I say X is equal to yes. Say. Now you will see the second level has been trimmed. Now here an important point to note is that whenever you are trimming, please check the direction correctly. It should not happen that for service road you are taking the right hand side. For service road the trim setting should be left and for the main carriageway it should be right. Similarly I will trim the shoulder now, shoulder right, I say, say. similarly I trim the GSB also. Now you will see I have trimmed all the edges from the main carriageway. I will apply the same logic to the service road. The direction I take is left and I choose inner shoulder service road right. I say save. Here there is no overlap so nothing is trimmed. Then I use GSB. You will see this trim now. I take the subgrade. Now there is a cut line also. I will trim that. So now here you will see you have achieved the desired result. I will have a brief recap what I have done. Please note I have taken the service road right. Here the first thing I did was transferred one point which was there in the main carriageway to the service road. Then I found out the intersection point. Then the x value of the intersection was collected in a variable and simply I have trimmed all the edges. Here very important point to note is that whenever you are assigning the types, here RHS should be assigned first and then the service road. If you are assigning service road first and then the RHS, you will get erratic results. So here I am transferring point from RHS to service road. So this has to be created before I create the service road. Another thing to note is that the area calculation is automatically revised. So don't worry about the area calculation for all the layers. Automatically you will see that the area is also trimmed. Hope this solves your problem. Thank you very much.